Here's advantage. Uh, let's take a look at it now. Pacquiao coming in, landing that left hand. It's a beautiful shot. Pereira trying to answer back, but staggered by that left. Now watch on the break. Right hand by Pereira. International Super Featherweight Championship. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Before a major title fight. And there goes the bell. Here we are, gentlemen. Both fighters in red trunks tonight. As Rich mentioned earlier, eerie how the circumstances are now flip flop, but will the results be the same? Remains to be seen. Eddie Pacquiao, a southpaw, of course. Pereira doing a good job of the body and going to the head. First surprise is that Pacquiao has not come out to try to overwhelm Pereira in the opening seconds. I was just about to say that. I uh, am very surprised by that. He looks a little dry. Might take a round or two for Manny to really warm up, but we know what that uh, what happens there with the Andrade fight earlier can always get caught. Barrera, it looks like, will try to fight a patient fight. Attempt to box, attempt to turn Pacquiao when he can. Throw some angles at him. You know the storm is going to be coming at some point to be ready for it. But this is the pace I think Barrera would love. Oh, Barrera would love this pace, and this is where he's gotten a legitimate shot to try to counter punch and outbox. I'm sure Freddie Roach is going to have a, a difference of opinion, and in fact, he does a great job of listening to the game plan in the corner. By the way, the odds on this fight steadily rose this last week in Las Vegas. They opened at plus 260, so about two and a half to one in favor of Pacquiao. By fight time today, they were three minus 360, over three and a half to one in favor of Pacquiao. Well, there's a lot of influx from the islands, too, coming here to bet on their guy late in the week. Guerrero showing good hand speed early. Good upper body movement too, side to side with his uh, uh, bending at the waist. And then you see that burst from Pacquiao, which you know is coming. That's where he gets there the is. There's there's the top top up, up on his toes. Guerrero doing a good job giving lateral. And now he seems to have been a little awakened. Manny woke up a little bit here. Crowd is intense. One of the loudest crowds I've ever heard. Wait till they start exchanging. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the first round. And the one thing that we didn't expect to feel that first round. Yeah, I thought Manny would come right across and take it to him, but they gotta have a lot of respect for Marco Antonio Barrera. Anybody should. He's one of the greatest ever. Round two. Freddie Roach asking Manny to keep up the feints, getting him to drop his hands. Had a little success with that. Pack, you're already starting off a little busier. Yeah, he's putting the pressure on as much as he can right now. See, Manny doesn't have but really one speed. Big left hand for Manny. They've been working on Manny's right hand a lot in camp. Freddie's been saying to get it to as, uh, as effective as his left hand, which, wow, would be incredible. The crowd, you can hear the crowd, which inspires uh, Barrera as well. There's a good counter from Barrera. And he's looking at the counter. Yep. He's watching his right leg, which is what he what, what he hinted at in that Hamed fight when he would, he would drag it back and, and, and lure Hamed into mistakes, and he, and he would almost invariably cash in on those mistakes of Hamed.
often wonder what it must be like for, for Manny Pacquiao to be so beloved and almost godlike in his country. You have to carry that weight of all those people every time he steps into the ring. Barrera is a great champion in Mexico, but there's many, many, many great fighters from Mexico that have gone through the years. And he's just a long list of the next ones in line, but Manny is something special in the Philippines. And uh, he has actually risen the whole level of boxing in the Philippines to where more people are getting involved, more kids are getting involved, and other champions are coming up. And there's a lot of talented fighters over there. We've seen one tonight. They, they almost pitched a shutout in the Philippines versus Mexico. Uh, World Cup. Still fighting a little more cautious than we actually used to see him. Yeah, I think he's a little more cautious. I think Barrera's got the pace he wants so far. Rich is talking about. Barrera with good right hands on the top. Yeah. Manny shakes him off. Barrera's got the pace he wants. Barrera's very calm, very relaxed, not bothered by the, the screams and the yells from Manny. He's letting him come in, Rich, like you said. Look at the counter. Look, look at that upper body movement from Barrera. Yeah, he doesn't want him to get, so don't stand in front of this guy. He'll blow you out. Keep circling to his left, keep circling. He looks like he took a page out of the first uh, Mark Esmer. Trying to stay away from that left hand. Go to the left. Look at him go to the left. Back out just missing. Final seconds, round two. Kind of going wild, but I think Barrera won that side. Some of the other riders here have given uh, Pacquiao the first round. I've got Barrera with the first two rounds as well. Round three schedule tough. Pacquiao pressed up the tack a little bit. Barrera's obvious game plan is to keep grip, upper body movement, stay away from the big left hand, don't make a mistake, and counter punch. Just drag that back leg behind him. Yep. Bring Pacquiao in and try to meet him with something on the way in. And if Barrera is able to pull off the um, upset, the conspiracies will arise. A lot of a great shot by Barrera. A lot of thought going in about Roach going over the Philippines, and it seemed to be an ego thing for Pacquiao because Roach went to Puerto Rico for De La Hoya with his fight against Mayweather. But the distractions were not even comparable to the two fighters. Barrera's hand speed is excellent. I can still remember broadcasting Barrera's first title fight. It was in Anaheim, California against Daniel Jimenez, which he won. That was 1995, guys. Wow. 1995, he won the world championship. And here he is in this fight tonight, still fighting at this kind of level. It's unbelievable. He's a true legend. It's oh, 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 big shot by Barrera. Barrera yeah, saying that didn't hurt. It usually means it did. Yeah, he lied. <laughs> wow. Barrera, as right, he punches downstairs a little bit, Tony Lee's going to step in. Barrera's going to frustrate him if he can. you got to remember the technician and the ring general that Marco Antonio Barrera's been over the years. If he's had to brawl, he can brawl. If he has to box, he boxes. He knows what he wants to do, and he's very, very methodical about it. Could be a matter of just Manny Pacquiao's too good before the night's all said and done. But so far, he's been frustrated. Now Manny's talking to Marco. I don't know what he said. Well, he came out from the very beginning, though, from the opening seconds with a strangely hesitant style stop, tonight, stop, stop, stop. which I'm very unaccustomed to seeing him fight. And it doesn't go well for him. Pacquiao's effective when he overwhelms you with his punches, when he when he uses his speed to take advantage of you and when he just hits you so many times so hard it takes it totally out of your game plan and he's trying to turn it into a chess match with Barrera and Barrera is uh, winning that match at the moment. Just the movement, Barrera's movement. A little right hand got in but not very effective. Whoops. You see him change his stroke a bit <laughs> swing there. <laughs> Barrera went up and then went down. Barrera looking really good on his toes, very effective with his jab. Marco's getting a little bold here now. Yeah. Well, take, a, take a look at him. He's getting a little confident. I'm being familiar with his fights. He's, he's doing the sign of the cross a lot, more than, uh, more than usual as well. <laughs> Freddie 
good advice tell him don't follow him because that's what Marco wants you to do he said keep going there you go go to your right force him back the other way yeah, that's more what what he wants him to do now Pacquiao wants to pick it up you can see yeah. it right now yeah. look at him look at the look in his face and look he's coming faster yeah. he's coming much faster and he's starting to punch faster that's what he needs to do look for Pacquiao to try to bring it right now because he needs a different tempo in this fight. And yet, I don't know if he's noticed, but yet another sign of the cross. So. I noticed that, but is Barrera going to let him do it? Well, at least it's during the fight. Unlike when Frank Bruno fought Stop. Mike Tyson and he signed himself about 20 times before the fight. As he was coming down the aisle, doing the introduction. <laughs> Back up, got a little spring in that step. Looks like he's going to let his hands go a little bit more. That's his style. A little back, he just caught him with a left. Nice left hand. Well, answering. Well, the world's getting into it with him. He's doing what Pacquiao wants him to do. I'm not going to fight him, too. Oh, yeah. I'm he's not going to sit there and box all night. Oh, no. Barrera definitely is slugging. When you catch him, he's one to answer quickly. Such a, a strong air of confidence about it because it's hard to tell it if he's always the same. Yeah. After that third round coming out, seemed to be emboldened a little bit. And man, he's trying to step on the accelerator. Problem is, Guerrero's defense has been exceptional and his movement's been great. His defense has been exceptional, but, and that was a good example of it right there. Very slick, timing man, he punches just right. Pacquiao is beginning, though, to find Barrera in this round, where he's really having trouble finding him in the first three rounds. But, again, the higher volume of punches are going to lead to some success for him. And it's to Manny's advantage to turn it into a slugfest. No, 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 good referee in there, Tony Weeks. I've seen him in some very difficult fights to work, and he's uh, usually right on top of it. Barrera backing Manny up a little bit. He was the referee in the, what many of us feel is the greatest fight ever, uh, Diego Corrales and Jose Luis Castillo. And Weeks uh, had to deal with all of that that was going on that night. That one we'll never forget. That was the year of the great fight. <laughs> he also was a pro boxer. Round five to 12 rounds ripping by in this fight. Marco Antonio Barrera keep up the pace with all the rounds he has in his career. Continue to use the movement, continue to stay away from harm while countering Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao That's really started to turn it on in the last round, Alan. I'm sorry, but he, he, he needs to keep it up and even take it up yet another notch. Well, that's what he's got to do and what he's doing right here. Stop, stop. Nice body shot by Pacquiao. Sounded pretty solid. Yeah, man, he's putting power into his shots now. Yeah. Up a cut, here that good left hand work from Barrera. Wow. Barrera's one of the best that, after taking a shot, responding quickly and being effective with the shot himself. Certainly one of the all time greats. Did a good job picking up Manny's punches with the gloves, too. And a nice left hook, and Manny felt it. Manny actually nodded in acknowledgement to him. Yeah. Anytime you see Manny hit his gloves together, you know he got caught, and he commends the guy for, getting, for uh, catching him with a good shot. Well, it's not like we haven't seen the Pac-Man on the canvas before, guys. So he can do things and leave himself open. It's been a cleanly fought fight. There was some... Oh, good oh. right hand from Manny. He's trying to do his oh, thing. Good, good, right answer. Answer for good answer for Barrera. Now they're getting it on. Barrera trying to put more open spots. Manny oh. kind of got caught with a left right there. And just like I was telling you earlier, Alan, he's the best at coming back right after getting caught. And I think he got the better of that exchange. It gets, him, it gets him mad, like... Yeah, it does. It gets him mad. <laughs> 
Wow. He will bust, but, but when he's pressed into it, he's going to he's going to revert to what he was in his early days. That's right. The warrior comes out. But Michael Antonio Barrera is a guy who's been able to reinvent himself successfully on a couple of occasions in his career. That big left hook had landed, Manny would have certainly been staggered. This is what Manny wants. Guerrero's giving it to him. Good counter punch to Guerrero. Manny trying to impose his will. Good hand speed. Pacquiao getting into a good exchange on the balls of his feet. In and out, darting. And Manny's getting into it. Guerrero can't say. Wow. Is this fun? Round six. I'll tell you what, the speed is uh, from both fighters. I, mean, I don't think Marco slowed down that much. You've seen him more than I have, Rich, over the years, but his hand speed tonight's excellent. Yeah, he looks like he's completely ready for this fight. Well prepared. He's got a great game plan. I've got him winning, gentlemen, I gotta tell you. Again, I'm checking around ringside to see some of the other scores. They had Pacquiao in front. So who knows? The first couple of rounds, of course, not much was going on, so they were very close. Could have gone either way. Could have gone either way. Well, you know, I really couldn't give a, a house fighter status to either guy. No. It's just it doesn't exist in this fight. Well, you can't because the crowd is evenly split. You've got one promoter. Bob Aaron promotes Pacquiao, one promoter. Oscar De La Hoya promotes the Barrera. Oh, good combination for Manny. He's got Barrera in the corner. Barrera's a little bit teed off about it right now, but he got caught over there. And he did not fire back that time, Barrera, the way that he had earlier. No, he did not. He was in the corner, and he answered back with a nice shot right at the belt line, <laughs> but not with the flurry that he has in the earlier rounds. I know his corner tagged Barrera not to engage, or, you know, but you have to, because Manny's not, <laughs> Manny's going to be in your face all night. Yeah, he, what are you going to do? He gives you no choice. No choice. I mean, you can run, I guess, but <laughs> you cannot hide. Barrera still has a nice, sharp, clean jab. I'll tell you what, I'm impressed more and more with Pac-Man's, uh, De defense he's developed under Freddy. I know he's worked that right hand a lot, but he's picking off a lot of punches, hands in good position. Good head movement. Good, good head, head movement. Out. And that speed, that speed of hand, let me tell you, that may not be something Freddy Roach. Oh, oh, oh wow, wow. Right hand for the right counter by Barrera. Wow. That got Manny's attention, and on they go. That was a perfectly timed right counter, and Manny answers with a flurry of punches, and that came from nowhere. This one was a nice low. Now here comes Pacquiao back. Pacquiao going to the right hand there. Good left hand gets in for Pacquiao. The speed to the body. It's deafening in here. Oh, he gets caught coming in from Barrera. Barrera sticking to the game plan, going back to his jab. Not looking like a three to one underdog, guys. No. Wow. Biggest punch of the round was that right hand. And that set Manny off. Can you believe this fight? It's what people pay to see, these two great champions. This is not in the least going to disappoint anybody by the time this thing's finished. Now, once again, Manny out a little bit cautious. Trying to work that jab. But he, his best advantage is his pace. Does he seem frustrated when he slaps his gloves together like that? Yeah, he'll usually do that when he gets caught. He gets a little frustrated. He's trying to fire himself up. But Burr's done a great job of circling to his left, giving him a lot of angles, great lateral movement, timing that jab perfectly, countering at times with that hard right. So he's a, he's a tough out. Pacquiao may still go on to stop Marco Barrera, Marco Antonio Barrera in this fight, but I'll tell you, by this time in the first fight, he was slaughtering Marco oh, Antonio slaughtering, Barrera. Yes, huge difference. Well, you know, no one in, in all their first fights, Morales, Barrera, Marquez, no, they underestimated Pacquiao's power. They, they thought, oh, well, you know, he can't hit that hard, but it turned out he was on a little Mike Tyson. A very defensive round for Barrera here, and mainly because Manny hasn't given him a lot to counter. There we 
go. Beautiful combination. Great combination. Speed for Pacquiao. That was it. Speed on that. Yeah. Exactly right, Alan. That's what made it happen. And he has it. I mean, it's a. He can go to it pretty much any time he wants to, but he's very, very respectful of Marco Antonio Guerrero. As well he should be. Lead left for Pacquiao. Good head movement by Pacquiao. Showing each other a lot of respect. Both have been caught with some hard counter punches. I don't, I don't know that Manny is, 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 is showing his usual amount of confidence in, in this fight. He, he, he just looks a little off, doesn't he? Like a little different, not like his normal spark plug self. Now, granted, he's going up against a well prepared, well conditioned Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer in Barrera. He's had to do a lot of running to catch. Yeah, look at the look at the ring the ring generalship he's using there. Barrera, Barrera in 10 seconds. Barrera needs more significant punches though. And they're gonna step it up in this round, guys. Round eight. Round blistering by. There he is, going back out, going to the body. When you're dealing with Pacquiao, though, you're always dealing with a keg of dynamite. He can explode on you any time. That's right. Nice pound himself in the head. I, I think he, Pacquiao was just indicating he didn't like getting hit that combination from Barrera. What was that? How dare you? <laughs> he punished himself for it. Yeah. Yeah, it's one thing the other guy beating you, but you're going to beat on yourself. I mean. I keep waiting for Manny to explode, guys, and just go. With a different animal tonight, guys. Uh-oh. Oh, nice shot by Barrera. Just caught him, sent him one way, caught him going back the other. Pacquiao still has not gotten started in this round. And Barrera, it looked like the momentum was uh, getting away from him in the last couple of rounds, but he's had a nice round so far. He's refocused, went back to his game plan. I wonder what Eric Morales is sitting back, he's sitting back watching this fight probably. Having three fights in the can with Barrera, three fights in the can with That's Pacquiao. true. <laughs> Trilogies <laughs> with both. Stop, stop. Nice combination from Manny. He's got to do more of that. Actually, I wonder who Morales is rooting for. <laughs> Neither one. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's never was too fond of Marco Antonio. No. <laughs> he's hoping they both lose. <laughs> That's true. Well, you know, at least uh, Morales did a commercial with Manny. He never did one with Marco. Oh, that was always bad luck between those kids. And it was, it was obvious. I nice was little jab. I mean, left hand for Manny, not a jab, but southpaw. But... Stop, stop. This is an interesting round with Marco maybe stealing, guys. I think so far. Just enough. Look yeah. At just just, just enough. Jab. You know. And you know, for the most part, Alan, I have that, I have it that way for the fight. He's sort of stealing the round, sort of stealing the fight. He got him by one round so far. That's good effective right hand for Manny. Manny's having trouble finding it. And he's and, and Marco obviously trained to fight this type of fight. It's like NASCAR in there. They must have gone around the ring a couple hundred times. Well, all I know is it's it, 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 Marco's doing just as many left-hand turns. Yes. Because he keeps moving left. I, I, I've noticed that as well as I pointed out earlier, and I think since I've mentioned it, he's done it about four or five more times. He did it in the corner and then coming out of the corner. We're in round nine. Pacquiao might be a little confused. He's just got to go to what he does best, and that's fight. Not the 
fight I expected from Manny Pacquiao thus far. Especially considering the success he had against him in the first round. You figure just he'd have a psychological edge and he'd try to come out and, and test his will. Missing once again. Guerrero continues the good head movement. I mean, he, he is just his textbook head movement. Well, Pacquiao may be winning this fight, but he has not been this overwhelming monolith that we've actually come to expect from him in every fight. Good combination there from Pacquiao. Once he gets a chance, if Guerrero is still in front of him, he, he can get it done. go in it, I'm not going to speculate, but I'll tell you this much, if it does become a close victory and not what we expected from Manny, I think he might, he might learn some lessons about his training camp that he might not want to do again. I'll tell, exactly, I think it'll be the last time you'll see training camp up in uh, the Philippines. <laughs> Marco's got his pride, and he's not going to back down. Oh, he gets that look and that clinch jaw, and he's coming back. Good left hand upstairs from Guerrero. Manny counters. Another left hand from Manny Pacquiao. There are probably many times when Barrera wants to revert to his old style. Right. And he probably has to stop himself and, and get back to boxing. Yeah, because you have, no matter what, you have to respect the power of Manny Pacquiao. Manny's getting hit with some hand speed he might not have expected from Barrera tonight. That is the one surprise how he's not so frustrated. sharp. He's kind of frustrated. Oh, good right hand from Manny Pacquiao. That's the power. And then Barrera always answers. There he goes answering again, going back to the jab. Pacquiao having a good round there. Barrera always trying to end it big, steal the rounds at the last 10 seconds. This is the end of the fight, folks. Round 10 scheduled for 12. I'd have to set it through nine. Barrera has looked very good. Very good, and it's a very close fight and a very tough fight to score. We had a couple of those tonight, guys. Well, when you get down to these final rounds, then you find out about the throwing game. Juan Manuel Marquez is in the audience tonight. Another great uh, champion from Mexico who has fought each of these men in pitched battles. Both of them were fantastic fights against Pacquiao and against Barrera. He beat Barrera, had a draw with Pacquiao. And Marquez has his own fight with Rocky Juarez coming up soon, but assuming he is victorious in that, we probably will see Marquez against the winner of this fight here tonight, early next year. And if it's Pacquiao, I gotta tell you, I think he feels a little confident about his uh, his chances in that fight. Well, judging what he's seeing tonight also. a healthy respect for the counter punching of Guerrero. He really does. Maybe a that's, little too much, that's, though. That's Guerrero's credit, though, you know. He's always answered in his career. So you don't believe, Rich, that if uh, Guerrero won this fight, he's going to retire? Um... I think then if he if Barrera were able to win this fight, he, I think he would look for Marquez. <laughs> Too much money involved, right? And a little chance for the guy. And you know, it's not like he's he's really, I mean, it's a good fight, but it's not like he's in a war, he's suffering a lot of punishment. No, he's fought a smart fight. He's fought a very, fought a very smart fight. Listen, if he's, if he's not the fighter he once was, he's not far from the fighter that he once was. Nice combination by Barrera. 
was a nice combination. And Manny's trying to come in and close the gap now, but Guerrero keeps going to his left, keeps staying away from that power hand. Now he's going back to his right, which, which Manny wants him to do. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> This fight's been pretty clean so far. The crowd didn't like that the tactic from Barrera. No, he thought that man, he hit him a little late, and he's quick to answer. He's never, he, Barrera's not one to let anything slide. Oh, no, I've seen him in some brutal fights. Yeah. Uh, some of the stuff he did with Hamed was, uh, yes. especially the smash of the face under the turnbuckle. The last you mean the full Nelson? <laughs> Still was trying to quit throwing it around. I know Freddie has a lot of confidence in Pacquiao's ability. So the fight's way too close. It is close. Rich, speaking of close, who'd you give that last round to? I gave that to Barrera that last round. Stop. See, I, I, I could have gone either way. I went with Pacquiao. How do you have it? I have Pacquiao in front. I've got it 95 95. Well, they want. They want Barrera to start throwing a little more. I think it would behoove him. But it's such a close fight. To give it all he's got these last two rounds, if it makes it two rounds. And take the fight if you can. And Manny, Manny definitely got to step it up. You would think these championship rounds would be Pacquiao rounds. He's the younger man. He's at his absolute peak in his career right now. Barrera said to be on the downside, advanced in years in so many wars. But sometimes the obvious scenario doesn't always play out. Well, the experience factor, as I'm earning more and more respect, as if I needed more respect for Barrera. You know, the wars that he went through in his career, you, you learn so much from it. And what he survived. There comes Manny. There's the speed. That's what Manny up. needs. He's getting frustrated. He needs to get up on those toes. Guerrero will counter him. And you know, Manny's just got to go in there and take the fight. If he's going to win. And Guerrero remaining patient, remaining calm. Well, his punch is actually missed Guerrero managed, but he's not going to miss all of them. Guerrero digging in by coming out, but he's facing a hornet's nest when you get in there against Pacquiao. Pacquiao letting it all hang out loose finally in the last round. That hurt Pacquiao. He's out of it. Handy man, he's out on his feet. Come here, come here, come here. Come over here. Give me a doctor, give me a doctor. Doctor, doctor. Doctor. I don't think there was anything intentionally dirty. Tony Weeks wants the doctor in right now. Pacquiao's out of it. I got one point. Oh, a big I got one point for, 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 for a foul. Okay, one point. And one point to Dustin that, taking that. That was, that was close to my head, but. Is this going to inspire Manny? Manny's got a look of determination. Well, he might be hurt. Rich, he was wobbly. He was very wobbly. And Barrera's time to step on the gas right now oh, and see Barrera's, what he's got left. Barrera's nose is cut. Listen, a headbutt can really take a lot out of you. And uh, Pacquiao was obviously terribly dizzy. Had to bring the referee over. Interesting round. Cobweb seat will be clear for Manny. Guerrero's I got him. He's got to be. We're in the final round. Who will prevail? The old warrior or the young dynamo? It could come down to this round. We just don't know. And that Guerrero had a costly point taken away in the last round. Camps nervous. 
nervous about what might happen with the judge's decision. And Barrera needs to resort to the Barrera of old and get in there and make it a little bit more of a slug fest. See if there's still some effects from when he hurt stop, stop. Manny from coming out of the clinch. I really believe so because that point deduction is going to hurt him in the scorecards. Wow, Pacquiao had never been in a worse way than he was after that. Ever. Now stop, stop. It was kind of a funny looking punch, guys, off the break. And it really stunned him. Came from out of the clouds. Out of the clouds, right. I think they're going to know about one minute and a half to one minute they're going to start going at it. Unless Barrera thinks that he's done enough, which I can't imagine he does think that. He's done a good job and fought very, very well tonight. So as far as him having another great fight in him, I, I think he definitely had the great fight. Slip, a slip. Both landing hard jabs. Coming up on one minute left in this 12 rounder, who will prevail? I think Pacquiao's different, or he's frustrated. Pacquiao still wants to fight, waving Marcus, Mark Antonio in. Come on, let's fight. Nice counter punch by Barrera. He got caught, but he got caught on that counter punch. Barrera's hoping for one big opening, one big opportunity to counter punch, to drop Pacquiao. And Half a minute left. Barrera's gonna unload in the last 10 seconds. To try to seal this. Very close fight. I mean, close round to judge for it being an imperative round in the fight. Final 10 seconds. And there it goes. What do you think, Rob? The folks watching around the world. This is a tough fight to call, gentlemen. Oh, oh, rounds, we go to the scorecards. Jerry Roth and Glenn Trowbridge, 118, 109. Tom Schreck, 115 to 112. To the winner by unanimous decision, still champion from the Philippines, Manny Pac-Man. Pacquiao.